1900s war history here. And to give him Govia 98's update, <coughs> I did buy this part from the front half of Govia 98 stock. And I did clean this one up with some grade zero steel wool, which you can do by the way. Doesn't really hurt the finish all too much or anything like that. And it gets rid of rust pretty nicely without getting rid of all the blue in it and all that. But I'm going to be basically chopping it off right from the front here to get the bayonet lug and all that. Because if you notice on the 1906 stock, the bayonet lug is not present. I should also mention that I got basically 93% of the paint off. There's some paint in harder to find areas on the uh, stock, but that's fine, for now at least. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice, while wow, the markings are still pretty visible. And there's even an original, if you can focus onto it, my camera will. There's been an original stock repair up there, from about the World War I time period. The rest of it was all weird artificial stuff that I don't really like. Uh, it was like this chalky white powder that if you could touch it with basically just your fingernails, it would... It, it's not great. That's all I'm going to say. But I got a lot of the paint and stuff off. <clears throat> and the stuff I also used may or may not have removed the finish, I could not tell. But there you have your stock markings there at the back end of the stock. And the stock disc, which is nicely marked. Let's see if I can get that into camera. I'm, use, I'm using a tripod. And the tripod has a little thing that's in the back. So like right here where my fingertips are, I cannot see. So I'm just hoping that's in focus. And you can visibly see that. But um, yeah, a lot of indents in the stock, like right back here. Up there a little. I'm of course going to do stock repairs, but I'm going to do them the historically accurate way. And stuff like that, and of course our barrel bands work. As they should. I should mention, I did put the uh, rear barrel band back on to the rifle after I removed the paint, and it was so much easier without any of um, the paint actually on the stock that made it a little bit thicker because there was three layers of paint on this thing and it took a while to get it all off or at least most of it off that it was really annoying and I took most of the paint off of these barrel bands and not barrel bands barrel springs that's more or less what the term I'm looking for but um they are really easy to get back on and of course the stock is matching to the receiver so if you can see the number you can kind of see a 5321. Eh, it's a lot easier to see in real life. And also there are the nail marks and that were made into the wood. You can see right up there. Nothing major. And on this side you can still see a lot of where that black first layer of paint was. I still have to remove some of it. It's just really hard sometimes to actually remove it. Which is fine. It's going to take work as all things are. Of course, I'm not going to try as hard to remove paint out from in there because that's not really as visible, of course. And this cleaning, well, the area for the cleaning rod has <clears throat> gotten decently fine in terms of getting that all cleaned out. And there's not really much else to say. I mean, all the parts are still chromed. I guess the rear swing swivel that would rest right back here. Um, the metal piece, I had like a 1930s styled metal loop, but it was clearly welded on and done by Americans. And so, of course, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I, I completely removed that, so that's fine now. It's just a matter of removing the barrel from the receiver and then dechroming everything. And that, that's basically it. And it's like Wolverine we'll 98 again, but then also putting the barrel back to the, or the uh, bayonet lug back on, as you can see there. I'm not quite sure if I want to cut off this little front stall right here or not. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It would make it.
kind of easy, but I don't know, there's room for debate, if you will. I'm not quite sure how to go about that and reattach it. That's basically all I have to say about the update. But now it's just nice wood and a little paint. And so, well, have a great day, I suppose.